Hello, prospective Jeep buyers. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Now, how many of you guys have ever tried playing around with the Jeep configurator on their website? If you have, then you know there's about a million different configurations for a Jeep Wrangler. To make this process just a little bit simpler, just a little bit, I'm gonna give you the top five options you'll regret not getting on your new Jeep. All right, guys, intro out of the way. I've got my list here, let's get going. Number one, it's gonna be the Uconnect 7 or 8.4 inch display. Now I'm gonna go ahead and give Jeep some credit here because I think the only Wrangler you can still get, the small little base, I believe it's it's like a four inch Uconnect screen. I think the only trim you can still get that in is the very base sport model, which you're probably gonna be pretty hard pressed to find on a dealership lot anyways. And if you're custom ordering one of those Jeeps, a fancy infotainment system is probably the last thing you really care about. But the reason I never liked that base infotainment system, and you saw this across all of Chrysler's products, is you could tell it was the base model radio. Now this is a modern trend a lot of manufacturers have these days. They want to upsell you on newer options. Because cars are now required to have backup cameras, they throw these tiny little screens in there. Usually in some kind of hole you can tell is made to fit a massive screen. And to me, they always just kind of looked out of place. If I wasn't gonna option for the big screen, I would want no screen at all. And in fairness, some manufacturers do this. They just put the, the rear view camera screen in the rear view mirror. And I think that's a much better option. Now between the two, I think the 8.4 is a very nice upgrade, especially if you have a Rubicon package, you'll get all the good off-road pages. And again, you can tell that's what the dashboard and the whole center console area, that's what it was designed to fit. If you've listened to any of the other more mainstream car reviewers, you'll know that the, the Uconnect systems that were in these Jeeps, they're pretty widely regarded as one of the better operating systems between you know all the different infotainment systems out there. The rear view camera looks great, even on the bigger 8.4 screen. And if you decide to opt for the bigger 8.4, you'll also get the Alpine premium audio system. If you're a real big audiophile, one, you're probably not buying a Wrangler, but two, you probably won't care about the Alpine system. You'll probably be better suited, you know, putting together a system yourself. But if you're like me, you just like to listen to the radio, the occasional podcast, maybe whatever's on Spotify at the time, I think the premium audio system's a good option. And plus, this is the first time I've had it, but it's super nice to have the Apple CarPlay and Android Auto options. And moving on to option number two, is gonna be the LED lighting group. Now, if you've been around Wranglers for any period of time, you know they're not famous for having good headlights. Jeep has gotten away with that for so long because the aftermarket is so prevalent for the Wranglers. There's probably a hundred different manufacturers out there that make new aftermarket replacement LED, HID headlights, whatever you're looking for. Some of the aftermarket options can look pretty goofy in my opinion. And I'm a goofy looking guy, that's saying something. But with the JLs, Jeep finally gave you a nice option from the factory. I like the way they look aesthetically, they perform well at night. I have no complaints. So unless you really just want to modify something on your own, I would highly consider just checking that option box or finding a Jeep on the lot that already has it. So I'm happy Jeep gave us something that looks good and also performs well. Number three, guys, make sure you get either the premium soft top or a hard top. Now this is one of those options, pretty much any Jeep you buy on the lot is probably gonna have one of these options checked. Ever since Jeep brought out the four-door Wranglers, hard tops kind of started selling like hotcakes. But if you're custom ordering one or you're still looking around browsing the lots, it's still something you should probably consider. Now, if you're like me and you really want a soft top, consider getting that premium soft top. The fabric looks a lot nicer. It's a lot deeper black from everything I've seen. They maintain that color a lot better. They're a lot easier to clean. It is supposed to be a little bit thicker material and reduces some of the noise, but for an extra 600 bucks, I think it's it's definitely worth it. It's not an option you'll regret. Now, if you're part of the hardtop gang, there's a whole lot more options. With the JLs, I've started to see a lot more of the body color painted tops. They even have the power one touch roof, which is ridiculously expensive. I wouldn't recommend that unless you just have more money than you have since. It is a cool feature, but four grand is, it's a lot. And I can only imagine how much it's gonna to cost to maintain something like that over the life of the vehicle. And for the soft tops, you can actually get tan now. Don't know how many people really care about a tan roof. It would definitely be a good way to make a Jeep stand out of the crowd, but just know that's an option too if you're going for the premium soft top. The hard tops still have the removable freedom panels. On the JLs, they've made them a little easier than they were on the JKs to remove. And you won't have the security concerns you would if you had a soft top. Either way, you can't go wrong with either a premium soft top 
or any of the hard top options. Just don't go for the base soft top. The vinyl kind of material, it, it's a lot more gray. It doesn't hold up as well in the sun and they seem to stain a lot easier, especially if you're one of these guys that likes to go out and play in the mud a little more. Now guys, make sure you stay till the end because I actually just thought of a, a sixth option that I want to make sure we talk about. I haven't actually mentioned this yet, but I almost crashed my Jeep the first day I bought it. And if I had gotten this option, that wouldn't have happened. Stick around till the end, we'll talk about that. Option number four, cold weather package. Now that's gonna get you the heated front seats, the heated steering wheel, and the remote start system. Now I don't use the heated steering wheel that much, but I will say it is very effective. Now if you live in a colder climate, obviously by its namesake, you're gonna wanna get this package. But even if you don't, like I live in Virginia right now, we're well in the spring, but I still use my heated seats almost every time I drive the Jeep. Still feels good to have on those cooler spring mornings. If any of you guys out there are like me and you've had back trouble in the past and you haven't tried heated seats yet, you need to. It'll change your life. And on a cold or a hot day, the remote start is pretty nice. Just don't tell that Greta Thornburg kid. And number five, we've got the trailer tow and heavy duty electrical group. Now obviously Jeep Wranglers, they're only rated to tow like 3,500 pounds. So what's the point of a, a trailer kit and heavy duty electrical equipment? With it, you get the 240 amp alternator. So if you have any interest at all in adding a bunch of light bars, different accessories, winch, that bigger alternator is gonna be a nice option for you. Your class two receiver is gonna have a nice seven and four pin a trailer plug-in connector. It's easily accessible. I'm gonna be putting together a small trailer so I can still tow my kayak around. And even if you never plan on towing, having a good solid tow hitch is gonna give you a nice recovery point for when you get stuck in the mud. Don't wanna forget, this package also includes the little auxiliary switch panel. Those are the four little interior buttons that are already placed in the dash, ready to wire up your lights, your winch, your radios, whatever. Now you can buy that from Mopar Aftermarket, but from what I have heard, it is kind of a pain to install. So again, this is one of those sort of things. For the money, I think it just makes sense to try and get it from the factory if you can find it. Now guys, number six, the option that could have saved me a lot of embarrassment the first day I bought my Jeep. We're gonna talk about the safety group. Now I know, I know, safety, who cares? Boring. That's pretty much how I felt. That's why I didn't look at it very closely. Now coming from my 2013 F-150, I had backup sensors as well as the backup camera. Driving a larger truck like that, I got used to having the backup sensors. Now the first day I bought my Jeep, I took it to a little scenic location to take some pictures. I was backing it up. And wouldn't you know it, I got about an inch away from hitting a giant wooden pole. Well, maybe you should learn how to drive. You're right, I should. But old habits die hard, and I didn't realize my Jeep didn't have the backup sensors on it. While the Wranglers come with a really good backup camera on, super clear, at least to me initially while I'm still getting used to it, it didn't give me a good idea of where the rear corners were of the Jeep, which normally isn't a problem because a Jeep is super easy to see out of. But again, I was still learning a new car. I was expecting to hear that beep. Luckily, my common sense hit me before that pole did and I narrowly missed an unfortunate call to my insurance company that day. Looking back, I think the safety group would have been worth that extra thousand dollars. But I think long term, a thousand extra dollars is not very expensive considering you still get the blind spot monitoring as well as the backup sensors. And that's just gonna keep you from making any unfortunate human errors. Anyways, guys, those are the five options. Actually, I guess it's more like six options that you'll regret not buying on your new Jeep. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I got a lot more planned like it. I'll see you guys in the next one.